Namaste dear learners, today we are going to learn a topic of interference in thin films by reflection. This topic generally we will find in the chapter of interference. In some universities they mentioned it as a wave optics. Observations. Generally we observe the thin films in our day to day life especially in case of bubble layer. Bubble layer is like a thin film and uh, when in rainy season when oil spreads on a water you will find a beautiful color so on that is because of interference and of course that oil layer acts like a thin film and come to the applications of that we will observe this one applications in various coats on spectacles like uh, mirror coating scratch resist coating polarizing film lens anti reflective coating these are all the coats of a thin film which we will observe in the spectacles. Not only that, we can observe this as anti-reflective coatings in automobiles. You can see the ob observe the variation in intensity with AR and without anti-reflective. And the aeroplane window coating is another one which is generally used for defrostation. Now come to the explanation of this. In this topic, we are going to obtain the expression for the maxima and minima or bright and dark fringes. Consider a thin film of refractive index mu. T is the thickness of thin film. And just a draw a normal. Here I wrote it with a dotted line. Now the outside medium or the surrounded medium is the air medium. So we are considering a thin film of thickness T, refractive index mu and the surrounded medium is the air medium. Now consider a light ray of a wavelength lambda is incident on upper surface of a thin film. Here the ray get reflected and refracted also. So the I we are taking it as an angle of incidence. Now the light ray is reflected and refracted. So the R we are taking it as an angle of refraction. Now again at refracted ray at the lower point here I am marking with the red is going to be reflected back and again at upper surface that is refracted into the air medium. So this will happen in case of this thin film. Now with the titles we will see AB is a ray incident on the upper surface which makes an angle I and reflected as BR and refracted with an angle R small r as BC and at again point C there is a reflection and that's uh, reflected as a CD again that ray is refracted as DR1. Now, to, for, for mathematical explanation, just extend that AB ray or you can draw the normal from that uh, to the ray CD which makes an angle R from basic trigonometry same angle will be obtained here and similarly draw one more normal from point D to ray BR, BR which makes an angle I and extend the normal to the back side extend the normal to the back side and extend this CD ray back side and here this triangle is exactly the replica of that means here the angle is R so the same thickness can be observed here so he can you can with the title you can see this normal we will mark it as EF this ma normal we can make it as a D is a normal and BF is a normal and here we put a point P so this is the diagram and if you understand this diagram the derivation part is very easy the same diagram we have I have taken in a small uh, this one and the optical path difference between the rays so mm -hmm. interference we are going to study here to study the interference we need a path difference. So observe these two rays BR and DR1 these two are going to interfere. So for that purpose we should find out the path difference. So what is the path difference just observe from A to B is the same. They split it as a BR and BC 
and from C to D and D to R1. So BR is one ray and other ray distance is what? BC plus CD plus DR1. This is the another ray. Now what is the common thing in this here? So if you do it clearly, right? So BE is in A medium because ER and DR1 are same because they are going to interfere. So by that what happens? BE in A is a different and BC plus CD in the medium. So ultimately you will get a path difference as BC plus CD is in what? Is in a uh, thin film and BE is in a air medium. So effective path difference come out as path BC plus CD in a thin film medium minus BE in air medium. That is the difference in the path. So that's a path difference we observe from the figure. Now path difference means we can take it as it's in the thin film. So we should take that path as optical path we are taking. So mu of BC plus CD minus BE in A. So A refractive index is 1. 1 into BE come out as BE only. Now we know Snell's law. Mu is equal to sin A by sin R. Now observe the triangle BDE. Just observe this uh, triangle BDE. So this is angle I. Now sin I is equal to what? It's a BE by BD. And similarly, consider triangle DBF. Consider tri triangle DBF, this one. Now sin R is equal to its FD opposite by this BD. So we got sin A and sin R substitute in a Snell's law. So BE by BD uh, by FD by BD. So BD, BD gets cancelled here. Now we left with BE is equal to mu of FD. Consider it as equation 2. From equations 1 and 2, we can write that path difference or effective path difference is mu of BC plus CD minus mu of FD. Take out mu common and you come up with BC plus CD minus FD. Now observe from figure CD can be written as CF plus FD. Now substituting that in place of FD we are writing CF plus FD and FD FD gets cancelled here you come up with mu is equal to BC plus CF. Sorry mu of BC plus CF and path difference C BC plus CF. Already we said this triangle is a replica of this one means BC is equals to PC. So based on that PC plus CF can be take it as PF straight away. Now from triangle BPF just observe the triangle BPF cos R can be written as this is the angle R and cos R is equal to PF by BP. PF by BP is a cos R. Now from this PF is equal to BP cos R. Now what is a BP value? Here to T and here to T. So BP is equal to 2T. You will have BP values. PF is 2T cos R. Now substitute in this in equation 3 then we will get the path difference is 2 mu t cos r. So I think clear so far here the effective path difference we observe from figure as 2 mu t cos r. So here that is not enough. So in optics any reflection that is backed by denser medium will undergo a phase change. So to be clear I will write here. So any reflection backed by denser medium will undergo a 
phase change of pi or path change of lambda by 2. Now here observe the reflections. So first reflection is this one. So definitely above one is 8, below one is the thin film. So this reflection is backed by denser medium. 1. And observe this reflection. So for this back end is a 8 medium. So there is no phase change. Only for B here there is a phase change of pi or path change of lambda by 2. So the now we have to add or subtract plus or minus lambda by 2 for this calculated path difference. So finally the total path difference come out as 2 mu t cos r plus or minus lambda by 2. This is the absurd from figure and this one is due to the one of the reflection is backed by denser medium. So the path difference is calculated. Our next job is to calculate the condition for the maxima and minima. First we come to maxima or bright. Sometimes we use it as constructive interference. So now we are going to see the condition for maxima or uh, bright or constructive interference. Now we know all to get the condition for uh, to get uh, the maxima the path difference should be n lambda and our calculated uh, path difference is 2 mu t cos r plus lambda by 2 plus or minus now equate these two this is need for the maxima and this is what we have calculated equate those two and solve it you will get this 2 mu t cos r is equal to n lambda plus or minus lambda by 2 so this is the condition for maxima now similarly condition for minima or dark or destructive interference can be calculated now so the minima or dark occurs when lambda or path difference is n plus or minus 1 by 2 lambda now equate that to the calculated one so 2 mu t cos r plus r minus lambda by 2 is equal to n plus r minus 1 by 2 lambda now finally when you calculate take this lambda by to that side and you will have n, uh, n lambda actually n plus 1 or n minus 1 you may get it but n plus 1 or n minus 1 is an integer so we will represent it with the integer n so you will get it as 2 mu t cos r that's equal to n lambda means when mu t and r matches with this value we will observe it as a bright if these values are matches with n lambda we will observe it as a dark so in this way we will derive the expression for the condition for the maxima and minima in case of thin film interference i hope you understand the concept well so thank you for watching a link for the write-up for this topic is given in the description you can go through it happy learning thank you and like share comment and please subscribe my channel